I'm now backstage while the final sound checks are going on for tonight's gig, and as we've seen, the Festival Hall isn't just about classical music. Over the years, it's played host to musicians from Frank Sinatra to Hendrix, Blur to Shirley Bassey, and tonight's Total Meltdown concert is no exception in terms of musical diversity. Over its years, Meltdown has become a focal point of the Festival Hall's calendar with its unique blend of rock and contemporary music. In fact, it's become so popular that last year the phone lines crashed when over a million people scrambled to get tickets for a special gig by Radiohead. Tonight we celebrate the festival success with Total Meltdown, bringing together past Meltdown and mini Meltdown directors such as Nick Cave and David Thomas, as well as music from composers Louis Andreessen, Magnus Lindbergh and George Benjamin. And to kick it all off, we start tonight's Meltdown gig with Elvis Costello. Mm -hmm. Through the spotlight glare I step out into thin air Into a perfume so rarefied Here comes the bride Not quite a snide, this snide She's number four There's number three just by the door Those in the know don't even flatter her They go on better She was selling speedboats in a trade show when it met her Look at her now She starts to yawn She looks like she was born to it but it was so much easier when I was cruel. She reaches out her arms to me, imploring for another melody, so she can dance her husband out on the floor. Captains of industry just lie there where they fall In an odor filled and pale carnation The satin sash and velvet elevation She straightens the tipsy headdress of her spouse While hers recalls a honey house There'll be no sorrows left to drown Early in the morning in your evening gown But it was so much easier when I was cruel was arranged with hostesses and ushers who turned out to be the younger wives nursing schoolgirl crushes part in the waves of those few faint friends fingers once soften now are too heavy to extend the ghostly first wife glides upstage whispering to raucous talkers Filling family secrets after flunkies and castrator walkers. See that girl, watch that scene, digging the dancing queen.
your newspaper editors like playground sneaks. Running a book on which your damn is gonna last a week. One of them calls to me and he says, I know you. You gave me this tattoo back in 82. You were a spoiled child then with a record to plug. And I was a shaven headed seaside thug. Things haven't really changed as such. One of us is still getting paid too much. There are some things I shan't report. The memory of his last retort. But it was so much easier when I was cruel. with the two pale boys, David Thomas. Thank you very much. I thought somebody's going to have to write an O to Festival Hall. Since, you know, what the hell, that's what we're here for. And I bet nobody else has written a ode to the Royal Festival Hall. I thought, well, we will. <laughs> Keith, I need something drifty. Give me something drifty. Andy, I want you to just stand by. Don't want you to do nothing till I say the word rage. <laughs> and then I just want you to blow that thing like you got no tomorrow. No connection to what he's doing. Just blow, blow, blow. But not till I say rage. Ode to the Royal Festival Hall, a poem by David Thomas. Nights like this, I feel the weight of history. I feel all those obligations, like somebody whispering in my ear. Come close. Do you feel that weight? Do you feel them? All those lives come and gone and lost, then spent. All those generations staring at us from the grave. All those lives spent in the pursuit of truth. It's like we're wading through blood. And here I sit on the banks of the Thames, and they built a damn Ferris wheel next door to me. And down the river, they put up some stinking circus tent 
that they didn't even have the guts to color in. Cowards! 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 Oh, honey, don't worry, it's all right. Some days I feel just like a motherless rage. was like a picture somebody tore out of a magazine and they spit on the back and stuck it to the wall now it's curling at the edges and about to fall and the morning is buzzing at me way too loud my life hurts in places Thank you very much. I'm not going to use the apron tonight. I'm not going to use the accordion. I dragged that thing down here. You know, when you're having fun, reliving the miseries and tragedies of your life that I'm sharing with you, thank you. I appreciate it. Come, feel the warm saline solution of my self-pity. Dive in. Oh, the water is fine and warm, and it tingles the senses. But enough of that. This is my favorite song I always save to the end, so I have something to look forward to. <laughs> A little suffer. Watch you on the shore. Stand in my oceans run. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Oh, we can ride all the stuff together. Oh, 
ask you to do the Star Trek theme tonight because your girlfriend's here. <laughs> Don't get him by the river, maybe no one will understand you. Don't race down to the sea. You don't want to know what's been beached on the sand. to the smoke and don't worry baby it's no one we know don't worry baby it's nowhere we would want to go don't gaze into the fire because the fire is a mirror and i had a dream one night i had a vision one night and i saw the heart rocking on its heels gazing into the heart of the flames the flames rising from all the books it was burning. No, the heart is not a warm and fuzzy animal. No, the heart is not touchy-feely. The heart is a fascist. It burns all the books. All of them. Rocking on its heels, gazing into the heart of the flames. Don't gaze into the fire. Don't jump into the smoke and don't worry, baby. No one we know. I'm very much afraid that I was the only non-productive, non-creative director of Meltdown, so I hope you'll allow me to indulge myself in a little creative moment. The Norwich Arts Centre have uh, asked me to take photographs of any audience in, which, in front of which I appear. Um, and in the curious language these people use, they say they will mount the exhibition uh, at the end of the... when I've got enough photographs. So, uh, if you'll allow me to take a photograph of you. I don't want to get too musical about this, but if you're with somebody that you shouldn't be with, cover your heads. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Um, I was given a, a list of kind of approved 
announcements and uh, this one I'm going to read because of something which seems to me relevant about it. It says, uh, Magnus Lindbergh, by the way, it was the uh, director of Meltdown in 1996 and it says, Magnus Lindbergh's Coyote Blues performed by the Manchester-based ensemble as though there was something special about coming from Manchester. <laughs> just, just a point that I thought I'd like to make. Anyway, go back to the beginning. Magnus Lindbergh's Coyote Blues, performed by the Manchester-based ensemble, Sappho. The director of the Meltdown in uh, 1994 was Louis Andreessen, and what we're going to start with is a performance of Louis Andreessen's Jimmy Yancey by the Meltdown Ensemble. Thank you. 
I like to feel that I've played my part in the history of popular music, and I'll tell you how. About 10, 15 years ago, I was driving down your Regent Street uh, towards Piccadilly Circus, and uh, when I got to Piccadilly Circus, a young man stepped in front of my car, and with no thought for myself, I swerved to the left and avoided running him over. And that errant pedestrian, Nick Cave! <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Sadly by his side At the window Through the glass She stroked a kitten In her lap and went Watched the world As it fell past Softly she spoke These words to me And with brand new eyes Open wide Pressed our faces to the glass as I sat sadly by her side. She said, Father, mother, sister, brother, uncle, aunt, and a nephew, niece. Soldier, sailor, physician, laborer, and actor, scientist, mechanic, priest. Earth and moon and sun and stars and the planets and comets with tails blazing. All are there forever falling, falling lovely and amazing. That sat sadly by her side The kitten she did gently pass Over to me and again we pressed out At different faces to the glass That may be very well I said But watch the one falling in the street gesture to his neighbors and see him tremble beneath their feet. All outward motion connects to nothing for each is concerned with their immediate need. When does the man reach it up from the gutter see the other one stumbling on a pain I see. down and said, oh, when will you ever learn that what happens there beyond the glasses simply none of the concern. God has given you but one heart, you are not a home for the hearts of your brothers, and God don't care for your benevolence anymore than he cares for the lack of it in others, nor does he care for you to sit at your windows in judgment of the world he created. While sorrows pile up around you, ugly, useless, and overinflated. Well, then she turned her head away, great tears leaping from her eyes. I could not wipe the smile 
smile from my face They said, set me by her side They said, set me by her side They said, set me by her This letter in my hand It's a play, a petition, a kind of prayer Hope it does as I have planned Cause losing her again is more than I can bear I kiss the cold white envelope I press my lips against her knee Do a hundred words we live in hope Sky hangs heavy with rain. Love letter, love letter. Go get her, go get her. Love letter, love letter. Tell her go tell her. A wicked wind whips up the hill. I got a handful of hopeful words. I love her and I always will. The sky is ready to burn. Something I did not mean to say Something I did not mean to say Said something I did not mean to say It all came out the wrong way Love letter, love letter Go get her, go Love letter, love letter Go tell her, go to her Rain your kisses down upon me Rain your kisses down in the storm and for all who come before me In your slowly fading forms Going out of my mind Will leave me standing in the rain With a letter and a prayer Whispered on the wind Come back
thank you. And no more shall we part. It will no longer be necessary. And no more will I say. I am alone and she's left me No more shall we part The contracts are drawn up, the ring is locked upon the finger And never again my lady star sadly are in the depths of winter no more shall we part all the hatchets have been buried now And all of those birds would sing the a beautiful heart upon the bough. And no more shall we part. Your chain of command in silence now But all of those birds would have sung the a beautiful heart Anyhow Lord stay from me Don't go down I never was free If I'm not free now Lord, stay by me And don't go down We never was free What are you talking about? Thanks very much. Good night. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you uh, maybe tomorrow night. Thank you. Good night. Um, I'll be honest with you. Uh, although I've done, I've done quite a bit of it over the years, uh, I don't really enjoy this comparing business much. I mainly do it to impress my children and they've remained steadfastly unimpressed up until now. But uh, I keep doing it nevertheless. I'm actually quite a shy and retiring sort of chap really. Um, and at the end of the evening it's my job, or part of my job is to say, hey hasn't it been fantastic, it's been a really good evening. But I have to honestly say that uh, I've really enjoyed this evening and uh, I don't often say that and I hope you have as well. It's been fantastic and it's going to get even better. And uh, I've just been talking to our next artiste backstage, 
very sound on steel guitars and football, Elvis Costello. one song called Only Wise among the collection and is exactly that. It's about a, uh, Harry Smith, he wrote in little shorthand things that describe the songs in the anthology notes and he said something like Lonely spinster believes in bounder, dies in river. Or, <laughs> but the song's a little bit dissatisfying because at the very end of it um, John Lewis, her suitor he, he murders her, you know, in the cruelest way, and then he gets captured. And the final verse says he went into the army, he went into the uh, jail for six months, then broke out and joined the army. That's it. No justice whatsoever. So uh, a team of uh, highly trained folklorists were set around the world to try and find the final verses of this song. And uh, they looked everywhere, high and low. Along, they found a, an antique sword stick that had engraving on it all the way down the, the blade but that wasn't it at all and uh, eventually they found it uh, in a parchment rolled up in the middle of a wooden leg which they found in my house so this is the story of John Lewis The smoke from the battlefield drifted away When Corporal John Lewis deserted, they say He ran from the bullets who laid it a rest He told his companions, I must get my rest he told his companions, I dream every night The faces of men I've dispatched in the fight The shades will approach me as I lie so still They offer their hand, but they wish me no will They're shaking their heads now and something they know but there is another who still haunts me so her name was Naomi her life it was brief she was plain she was homely and destined for grief she coveted riches believed in my prize she fell to her end in the water she lies. There were no farewell kisses, no tender embrace. She was guilty of something beyond avarice. She slipped to the waters and down she did flow. But they gathered her up. And it troubles me Well, it's not the account Of a pitiful death It's not her last pleading Or her final breath But when I consider How she once beseeched me Her face has no features Her tongue has no so I'm here to tell you what Lewis did last The head of the firing squad and trumpet blast He broke through the glass for a lock of her hair He dug up her grave but the coffin she went upstairs. 
And not one word to her mother she said Her mother she went upstairs to Said daughter, oh daughter what troubles you Mother, oh mother, I cannot tell that railroad boy I love so well. He's caught in me, my life away, and now at home he will not stay. There is a place in London town Where that railroad bar goes and sits down And it takes that strange girl on his knee And it tells to her what it won't tell me Father, he can come from work. Said, Where's daughter? She looked so hurt. You went upstairs to give her hope, but he found her hanging from a rope. He took his knife. These words he found Put a marble slab At my head and feet When it's time to make my grave both wide and deep Over my head a snow white so this world could see that I died for love Oh, dig my grave both wide and deep Put a marble slab at my head and feet And over my So this world could see that I died for love